between 77 and 83, 100,000 jobs had been lost within the Merseyside area. 65% of the Liverpool economy had collapsed. The number of factories that closed, it was like a, the, a, a, the death knell of British capitalism. The standards went, Tate's went, half the docks went, shipbuilding and ship repair all but disappeared. The big biscuit companies uh, cut back. English Electric uh, pulled out. In Garston, we saw the closure of the Bobham Works. We won a majority in 83, where for the first time for a number of years, Labour had a working majority inside the City Council. We opposed the building of any more of these uh, blocks, tower blocks, and we voted for a programme of a housing with gardens to dismantle, to demolish the worst, some of the worst housing in Western Europe, uh, to develop the areas uh, environmentally, to set up an urban development programme, which was a holistic approach uh, to 17 areas in the city, not just on the question of housing, but on environment and developing uh, pleasant uh, living areas. We also, in, in, in that programme, there was total opposition to any further cuts, because Michael Heseltine, who Joe Anderson gave the freedom of the city to, he had slashed between 79 and 83 100 million pounds from Liverpool's budget. So a part of our programme was the campaign to get that money back. And that we proceeded to do. I mean, we were the only council who actually succeeded in extracting uh, funding from the Tory government, which uh, amounted to the equivalent of 60 million quid, which allowed us to carry out our house building programme. McDonald's is a multi billion international organisation which makes billions of pounds in profits and is capable of paying these workers at least £10 an hour immediately for the 35 hour week and granting trade union recognition.